starting off these are the three major things we will gonna need firstly this motor secondly this breadboard and thirdly these uh, batteries box batteries i think uh, yeah so that 12 volt batteries and we'll only need one of them so yeah let's get straight into it So to do this first we need to understand how this works. So for that I'll take my battery out. It is surprisingly harder than I thought it would be. How to unbox batteries? First. Open it. So you need one of this. If you don't have one you're gonna buy one. Uh, so, for doing this, there's these two things which I'm pretty sure you know. So, uh, these two look the same and these two look the same. So, yeah, we're going to put it in the opposite ones. Just like that. And we are going to fit them in. Ouch. Yep. So now we have ourselves two wires coming out of the battery. We are going to need to take this. So let's say this is our breadboard and we have all of these little, little dots over here uh, which will say they are our wire points. And how this works is these let's say are the holes except they all are connected through a huge tunnel so let's take this as a tunnel for example let's say this whole thing is connected now if i were to put a wire in here then all the current would flow through this and we would get basically four wires attached over here except this energy over here and here and here so if i have to attach my motor wire over here let's say this is my motor on it. So then this will, the one wire will get the electricity from here and let's say this is my other one and this is also connected and here I have my red wire, positive wire. So if my red part of the motor were to come anywhere from here, if it were to come here or here or here it would receive the same amount of current. So now that we know of breadboard, let's continue. One uh, of the uh, wires in here and one a bit further away. It, no, it doesn't matter where you put it, but just don't put it in the same column. So let's say if the negative is on the right side of the motor and uh, uh, later it's on the left side of the motor. Let's just say and over here positive is on left and here positive on right so if normally when this is there this connection is there the motor is rotating clockwise then when it's inverted this will rotate anti-clockwise unlike an led which if you connect the wrong part of it to the wrong uh, if you connect the wrong part of it to the wrong wire then But what we will need to know is uh, if we are keeping the motor like this and we keep our pencil over here then the mo the we sharpen pencil is like turning clockwise so the motor needs to turn anti-clockwise for our pencil to be sharp. And I've already fixed this motor as uh, it takes a huge time to fix this and I would recommend just keeping the motor like this and putting Fevi stick on the sharpener and sticking it uh, but it took me a way lot time to figure that out I first used a glue gun and all so yeah that's that so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take some wires which I have here they're pretty small because we won't be needing any far connections so here on the motor we see these two I bet you can't see it because of the camera quality but yeah there's these two 
uh, uh, holes for the motor wire to go we are going to put it and bend the wire a bit and these are male wires male wires basically are having these uh, lines and female wire don't have these lines so i am going to put it on this this place and our yellow wire over here oops like this stuck it in and put it on the negative side lol that scared the damn out of me bro look so now uh, this row is connected as if i put it here then it works for a bit and then stops as we have a few loose connections over here now it starts working again so what we need to check is if it's going clockwise or anti clockwise uh, for that i'll put this in and we're going to be attaching our motor to the cardboard i put it in yep so it's going clockwise right now uh, i need it to go anti clockwise actually i might just put this in put it like this and leave it actually we need it like this then i'll put this here yes it's going clockwise right now so what we'll do is we'll interchange this and put it over here and as i told you motors will switch uh, their rotation based on uh, how they are connected yeah so now this goes anti clockwise so if we put our pencil over here then this goes anti clockwise it sharpens itself so first uh, we know uh, this works so we'll disconnect these both wires so that i don't burn my hand in the process and i'm going to attach one over here like this okay and then i'm going to try to bend it hopefully it doesn't break off so yeah i'm pretty sure it does work now uh, now for the second one this motor is not in that good condition as i've used this before for some other projects uh, but yeah so i'll i'll bend this as well yep now these work they should work uh, perfectly and i'll put this over here and this over here yep it works like a charm so after doing this what we need to do is first we won't put one wire in because then the motor would keep rotating and uh, secondly we'll need some cardboard to stick this on to so i'll be right back with you so this is the piece of cardboard we'll be using uh, and i've ripped this out of another project of mine and brought it over here so it's just basically cardboard except it has a few more layers which makes it more secure so that the motor doesn't is and i have this hole over here uh, which you'll see why a bit later uh, so first what we'll need to do is these breadboards uh, that come with double sided tape behind them so i'm going to take this double sided tape uh, off and i'm going to put it let's say on the side of this and then we're going to try to okay no that going to interfere with our plan so i'm going to put it like this because the motor comes in the way so now we have our uh motor almost ready except uh, i i see some minor issues for example uh, i don't know the fact that this will be like this and the wire is way too small uh, so wait let's just try this out first. i'll put it like this 
the breadboard over here actually this is a mini breadboard the breadboards are way bigger than this so yeah i'll put it like this attach this here and i'll put this wire back in its place yep so it works right as intended I'm gonna take this wire out, attach the other side here, and leave the other side out because I don't want this motor wasting all the battery off. Uh, so now we need some tape to stick this, which I have right over here. It works. So I am gonna bring a pencil to test it on, and uh, yeah, here it is. Moment of truth, let's see if this works. Oh, it's sharpening, it's not letting out any big wooden pieces. I think I'm gonna need more tape. Uh, yep, let's test again. Oh, let's see if the pencil is sharp or not. Oh, it's actually so sharp. Uh, it was before blunt as you saw. And now it's sharp. So yeah, the sharpener works. And thank you for enjoying this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like, share and comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of this. Bye bye till my next video.